Hello there and welcome back to the show. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up a custom script folder in Cyril. Uh, I did this before in another video but it was a, a Dwarf 2 related video so I thought I'd do this just as a quick standalone video. Also I wanted it to coincide with uh, a new release of the Astro Barbecue script library uh, that will be going out at the end of this week. Uh, so just a couple of days time. And the library is going to have a, a lot of new scripts, um, quite a few new features. Uh, and in particular, it's going to have a uh, stacking script, which, which is designed um, for the C-Star S50. Uh, and it should be compatible with pretty much uh, any one-shot color style of camera. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've put in some scripts which will be more, um, I call them more relaxed. So they're good scripts to use if you're having problems with stacking, like a lot of subs being rejected or just the stacking failing altogether. Uh, they will be a little bit less uh, finicky about uh, about the number of stars they're finding and that kind of thing. So you might well find they will work better if you're, you're having problems with stacking um, anything really. You can, it's certainly worth giving them a go. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll do this uh, little tutorial and then hopefully it'll you know it'll have you all um, ready for when the new library comes out. Um, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get a notification straight away when the library is published. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to the desktop and have a look at how you create a custom script folder for Cyril. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I've created a script folder. I've just called it uh, Cyril Custom Scripts. You can call it, you know, anything you like, really. Just uh, keep it out of the Cyril program folder. But apart from that, you can put it anywhere that's convenient. Um, then I've downloaded the latest version of the Astro Barbecue script library. Uh, I put a link down in the description for that. I'm just going to extract that now. There it is. What I'll do now is I'm just going to move the scripts. I'm going to cut them. Paste them in there. Then we can get rid of all this. Don't want that anymore, really. Okay, so um, incidentally, there might be, by the time you download this, there may be some more scripts as well. But this is just to give you an idea. Okay, so that's that done. Um, next thing I'm going to do is open up Cyril. Click on the hamburger icon. Click on preferences. Click on scripts. Then I'm going to get the path to my folder here. So I can just do that by, and I'll just highlight that. I'm going to control C. Uh, go back to this dialog here, add a new line, control V, paste it in. Then I'm going to click this button here, which will refresh uh, the UI. So this will uh, show them up in the list. Click apply. And now when I go up there, as you can see, we've added in all the scripts and they're now ready to use. Anyway, thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you found this video useful and informative and I uh, hope to see you again soon. So bye for now.